everybody, it's Caroline from Caroline's Veggies. Those will be my turkeys in the back. Um, today, I wanted to talk about leg, leghorn chickens. Um, because chick days is coming up really quick, because it is the end of February, you're going to see a lot of chicks at um, your local feed stores. So for example, um, I work at Tractor Supply in Antioch, Illinois, and we're getting ready for chick days. We have everything set up and we're gonna be getting our chicks in this year. So I wanted to talk about one of my favorite breeds and one of the most popular breeds out there um, in the United States. So this is an example of a leghorn. This is um, one of my first hens, her name is Pearl. Uh, she is a pearl white uh, production layer. Uh, she's from Tractor Supply and um, she's from the uh, Hoover's Hatchery in Rudd, Iowa. Uh, I love this, this hen. She's just really fun and a great little pal. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about their history. Um, they originated in Italy in 1835. They actually were shipped out of the port of Livorno, Italy to the United States. Um, actually, the term leghorn was anglicized because it originally came from the term Livorno in Italy. And it, when it came to the United States, um, Americans anglicized the name and just called them leghorns. In the South, actually, they don't call them leghorns, they actually call them leghorns. So it depends where you are living in the United States and what who calls what and whatnot. Um, so anyway, um, actually, so the birds were then um, shipped uh, actually back to England in the 1870s across the Atlantic. And it's actually thought that the original strain of the leghorns uh, died out. And so the ones that we have today are actually from the birds that were then um, imported to North America later on in the 1870s. I also want to talk to you about the difference between heritage leghorns and production leghorns. Now, heritage is kind of like heirloom vegetables. Heritage means it's old, um, it's been in the family. Um, so heritage are the original birds. Um, and production leghorns are the ones that they created from the heritage leghorns to create an egg laying machine. So most of all the leghorns that you're gonna see in the feed stores, uh, especially, you know, like Tractor Supply, Farm and Fleet, Big R's, uh, they're going to be the production leghorns. Um, so they were first, uh, the heritage leghorns were actually first admitted into the APA, the American Poultry Association, in um, 1874. Um, so the production leghorns are mainly what I'm going to talk about today because that's what I know. But there are several different colors um, that are um, permissible in the APA if you're interested in showing. There is the white, of course. There is the brown leghorn, and actually the brown leghorns gained popularity um, in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Actually, um, if you're familiar with the Little House on the Prairie books, Lori Ingalls Wilder, um, she was the author of those children's books. Um, she actually bred brown leghorns where she lived in Missouri, and she actually got herself started in, into writing by writing about her hens in a local newspaper. And everyone was just so interested in how she always got so many eggs. And she would talk about what she feeds them and, and you know, the vegetables you should grow and the grains you should grow to keep, you know, chickens properly fed to get those, to get that egg production. Anyway, so that, that's um, a little bit of history on the brown leghorn. So there is the white, the brown, there's the buff color, like it's a little tan color. There's the black, there's the cuckoo color, the pile, the mottled, the duck wing, and the um, exchequer, which is like a black and white checker. That's kind of rare. It's more popular in Europe. Um, anyway, so another thing about leghorns that is really interesting, and, and you know, um, this makes them such successful egg layers, and it makes them great for large-scale egg facilities that, that are egg production facilities, you know, the eggs that you buy in the Walmart and all these, the white eggs. Um, the leghorns, the production leghorns, had the best feed to egg conversion of any chicken breed. 
making it super economical for the large scale egg factories. Um, you're not really going to notice that as much if you have, you know, a bunch of, you know, hens in the backyard, like four or five, but um, they really do eat less. And so that's why you're going to see usually more white eggs in the stores available at a cheaper rate than the brown eggs. I also want to talk about the good things about this breed. There are many good things. Now this, you know, when I talk about um, personality traits of this breed, it's usually, you know, I'm stereotyping, just like you can have a mean golden retriever, even though most golden retriever dogs are really nice. Um, for, so for example, this leghorn, the way she's resting in my arms is not typical of the leghorn. Um, they can be flighty. But this hen, I, I hand raised her. I spent a lot of time because it was my first, my first chicken batch. She's going on three years old. Um, she just loves to be held and she's probably sleeping. She's a great little bird. Anyways, so the good thing about the leghorns is not only do they have a great um, egg feed to egg conversion rate, they lay so many eggs a year, it's crazy. You can get anywhere from 290 to 320 eggs per year from one hen. So that's a lot. That's gonna be about what they lay for the first three years of their life. And then they'll slowly start tapering off. I think they're very friendly, a very friendly bird. They're very curious. So when I let my birds out of the barn stall, they are the typical uh, birds that are gonna hop up everywhere on the shelves I have in the barn and explore. Uh, they are great foragers. And what I mean by foragers is if you decide to free range your birds and not keep them confined, um, they're going to find lots of bugs, lots of food on their own. They are not stupid. They are very smart birds. But again, uh, with any smart animal, that can get into a little bit of trouble. Uh, they are non-broody, which I think is great because I'm not really interested in hatching birds. Because I work at Tractor Supply, I, you know, I just get my chicks there. Um, and I don't want to, I also want, I kind of am more interested in purebred birds. So, um, I don't have a leghorn rooster. Um, that's another thing. Uh, well, I'll get to the cons in a second, but anyways, so they're non-broody. So that means they are not really inclined to sat, sit on a clutch of eggs and, you know, stay on those eggs and hatch them. Uh, they're more inclined to just pop that egg out and run off and go, you know, about their business foraging for food. Another positive about them is they are easy to find. Again, um, we get leghorns in a tractor supply at least bi-weekly when we have chick days. They are a very popular breed. You're not going to ever not, you know, find this breed. They are super, super popular. Um, also, another thing, when they intermingle with other hens, they are non-aggressive. I have noticed that out of all of my breeds of hens, when I get new chickens in and I, you know, quarantine them and integrate them slowly with a dog cage separating, you know, the, the birds, um, they are not aggressive. They are not ones, you know, puff out their chest against the other one. They're just, you know, whatever. They kind of go with the flow. The bad things or the downsides to a leghorn is they are flighty. Um, so, you know, some, I, so this one is really calm, but my other leghorn I have, foghorn, foghorn leghorn, um, she's actually more nervous. She doesn't really like to be held that much. You can pick her up, but she's kind of, she, you know, she has things to do. She's busy. She's got to, you know, tend to this and tend to that. So I can't really hold her too long. Um, they tend to be a little bit more nervous. So they're a little more jumpy. So let's say, you know, there's a loud noise or you drop something. They're going to be the first ones to go, Whoa! you know, so they're not as calm as maybe like your buff Orpington. They have large combs, as you can see. Uh, it's quite floppy. So a lot of times newbies, when they get these birds and don't really know their breeds, they think it's a rooster just because their combs are a lot floppier than, um, you know, your Rhode Island red. And that's because they're from the Mediterranean. So the Mediterranean, that these birds do really well in the heat. Um, and so it, it's, it's great for them to have this, this extra tissue. Uh, however, in the cold, they're not going to fare as well. 
Uh, you might want to, they're more prone to frostbite, so you might want to make sure during the winter time that you might have a radiant heater, um, you know, right by the roost where they sleep. You want to put some petroleum jelly on their cone to prevent frostbite. And, and just have some some sprays and, and medicines on hand that you can get at Tractor Supply, um, some um, ointment that you can put on if they do get frostbite. Um, the roosters, they can be a little aggressive. Leghorn roosters, as a general rule, are a little bit more aggressive than other breeds, like compared to your silkies or um, your, um, I don't know, uh, Brahmas or whatnot. Um, they are flyers. So if you decide to um, let your birds out in free range and don't get them in at night, uh, they are going to roost in trees. I don't free range my birds. I have a, uh, a top to my chicken run so they cannot fly out. If I did not have a top, they would probably be flying out. So that's one thing to think about, a negative. Another um, possible negative is that they are white. If you get the white leghorns, white, as a general rule, uh, attracts predators. So if you plan on free ranging your birds, um, white birds will be seen by aerial predators easily. Uh, the good thing about the leghorns is because they're so athletic and fast and nervous and flighty, they are they, they can you know get out of out of the way really fast and go take cover. So that is a good thing. Um, so yeah, so I mean, Really, I just love this breed. It's actually, honestly, my favorite breed of chicken. Um, I really like silkies. I have a couple of those, but I have to say this hen is my favorite. Uh, their feathers are super soft. Oh, one more thing about them. They're a little bit noisy. So I don't recommend if you live in a suburban area getting a bunch of these birds because they're really quite loud. They have a loud cackle when they lay an egg. They're just a little bit more boisterous and vocal. So I don't recommend if you're, you know, interested in doing your research this spring uh, to get your chicks, I don't recommend, you know, getting a full flock of leghorns. Um, and plus, you know, you want some color to your eggs. For example, yeah, I brought my little basket here to show you the difference. Let me just put her down. So I was going to show you the difference between the eggs. So this is a beautiful white egg from Pearl. It's a, a leghorn egg. Um, and then just the difference between a uh, brown, so this would be from a uh, red sex length variety, a golden comet, which I also love. It's a great chicken breed if you're interested in the reddish color breeds. So the difference is it's almost the same size. And then we have an Easter egger. So this is a, a shade of blue. So that's really nice. It really go, uh, complements the white and the brown. And then this is a little silky egg. So you can kind of see the difference in the sizes of the silky versus the leghorn. And the silky's eggs are gonna be cream to whitish color, a lot smaller, but great for breakfast sandwiches. Well, I hope you learned a lot. I really recommend leghorns. So, you know, check them out. You can get them off a Tractor Supply website. We sell them. We'll have them in the, the stores, of course, Come chick, when Chick Day starts in a couple weeks. Um, also, you can get them from Hoover's Hatchery. I've had really good luck with their strain. Um, so that's what, what these are. Uh, I got them, of course, like I said, from Tractor Supply, but many hatcheries sell these birds. Um, they're great. Um, and um, I just recommend you, ha you get a couple. It will be great. So have a wonderful day and good luck on your chicken quest. Take care, everybody. Bye.